Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. I'm Keegan, and this is The Deep Dive. For those of you who don't already know, this is The Deep Dive, where I go into the internets, common threads, forums, and the like, dive deep into them to see if I can find some great content, and then I go ahead and answer some questions that may not have been answered. Pretty simple concept. We're going to get right to it today. So just like we usually do, considering it is Monday night when I film these, we're going to go for the moronic Monday posts. So let's see what we can find here. Ooh. Hello. This one seems interesting. Okay, this one comes from unofficial JM and it says, I'm 14 and just getting into workout. After every YouTube video I watch on perfect push up form, I still get pain in my shoulders. I thought I might have shoulder impingement, however, about five to 10 minutes after quitting, the pain wears off. Does anyone have a solution for this? Okay. This one seems pretty interesting. I'd be happy to weigh in on this one a little bit now. As is a lot of the cases with these questions, I'd have to ask a lot of questions to really dig deeper to a proper and actual solution, or at least something close to a solution or, or, or a proper solid hypothesis to what's going on. But if we're just going to kind of break down what we're seeing here, let's look at some of the elements here. So we have a 14 year old, they're kind of just getting into it. They've watched a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, wonderful place to get you know some pieces of information if you know where you're looking but it can also be a bit of a mess out here on youtube let's just be real about it um and they still get pain in their shoulders they thought they might have an impingement however about five to ten minutes after stopping the pain wears off so a solution for this okay um so when we're talking about what can cause a pain in the shoulder um this is one of those things that can be simple, but can be pretty complicated. It really depends on where we're coming at it from. So um, in some cases, it could be an overuse injury of some sort. So uh, the shoulder is basically the, the delts and then, of course, the rotator cuffs. Um, if you don't know it, it's uh, the acronym to kind of name all of the one around all the rotator cuff muscles is SITS. So supraspinatus, supraspinatus infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapular, subscapularis. Um, and so that sort of arc that runs around the shoulder there, all the rotator cuff muscles. And so you have like the big delts sort of around it. And I say big being very, you know, relative here, but you have the big delts. Uh, and then you also have the um, rotator cuff muscles around there. And of course, there, there's a lot of other pieces kind of running around in the general area, but let's kind of keep it simple there just because that's going to be the easiest way to kind of talk about this. Um, the shoulder is a floating joint, which means that basically there's little holding in place except for those muscles that we just kind of mentioned. You have your rear delt, yeah, your rear delt, your medial delts, and your, uh, your, your anterior delts. Security of the shoulder is really dependent on uh, engaging the muscles around the shoulder such that you kind of help secure it with the musculature. If you're not doing that, then that floating has to be supported by something. And so the rotator cuff muscles end up sort of intermittently taking on load in order to help keep things where they kind of should be during your exercise, which can be problematic because they're not really built to handle large quantities of load. So um, I've talked about this a number of times to clients and I've talked about this a number of times too uh, on, on my Instagram as well. Go ahead check out in the description i'll leave my instagram so go ahead over there uh, and you can kind of see but this is where packing the shoulder comes in really handy so the idea of packing the shoulder is pretty simple all you're looking to do basically is raise pull back drop the shoulders and you're kind of looking to keep each piece of that motion except for the raising of course because you have to drop uh in place as you're performing the exercise um and so when you're doing it that kind of pulled back position that sort of chest out position as it sort of ends up being in the end uh, is where your shoulder is kind of engaged such that the shoulder girdle is actually secure now and now that it's secure we're good to go we can we don't have to worry too much about you know the sort of small rotator cuff muscles taking on too much load because they're secure and they're held in place by stronger muscles meant to handle more load um it's very possible that, especially since you're just beginning, since you're just starting out, that you're taking on more 
than your body's really able to handle. And so those smaller muscle groups that are just not capable of handling the load are getting overloaded really quickly. As a result, they're getting damaged and you're starting to feel the sort of pain that comes from you know, an overactivity there. They're basically overactive, they're reaching their limit, and they're kind of telling you, we need to stop this, this whole thing so that we can rest, relax, repair. Um, and a lot of that can be solved by first resting, kind of give your shoulders some time to kind of repair and heal. Uh, and then when you go back at it, making sure that your shoulders are packed throughout the exercise. That's what I would do anyways. Um, so, you know, that's a great place to start and push-ups are something a lot of us are doing at home right now. So, uh, since we can't really leave our houses, some of us, uh, Ontarians, I'm looking at you. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this is a good learning opportunity for a lot of us because you know, a lot of exercises can be done improperly and when done improperly cause a lot of problems. The best way to kind of deal with it is to be mindful about our form, mindful about our execution, you know, try to find trustworthy sources when it comes to figuring out how to do certain exercises and then execute it to the best of our abilities. But again, the reason people like me have a job is because we can spot these things quick and when we spot them we can correct them we coach you through you know properly executing the exercise and next thing you know you're doing it well you're not getting hurt you're seeing results everybody's happy i'm gonna call it for this video if this one doesn't come up to eight minutes because i recently learned that it, it's not 10 minutes it it's less it, it's only eight minutes but i recently learned that it only needs to come up to eight minutes which is kind of tight so i'm only gonna do videos that are like eight minutes long I can get out more content, editing is going to be easier, watching it's easier, you don't have to sit here listening to me jabber on forever. Everybody's a winner. So I'm going to be done with this now. So I hope you guys found it informative. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, go ahead and throw a like down below. Of course, also comment on the video. You know, tell me if there's any exercises that you'd like me to do, you know, explanations on, if there's any places on the internet you'd like to see me go and do a deep dive into. Um, that includes Instagram too or TikToks. I'm happy to go to a, a TikTok channel and just like deep dive into their content and see what I can find and then do commentary on it. So videos are fair game too. It's not just tech stuff um so yeah feel free to leave a comment let me know what you'd like to see on the channel i'm more than happy to include it into future videos um, of course uh subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified of all of our future videos coming out and of course join the galaxy uh we'd love to have you shining with us uh the more stars out here in the galaxy the better so go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that bell button we really appreciate it. Of course, it helps with the algorithm too because YouTube really favors channels that are getting a lot of good engagement. So go ahead and do that for us. And of course, stay shining because the only way this universe can be a bright and beautiful place is if we all shine together. Peace.